What makes the newly surfaced images of the Avatar 360 so compelling is not that they radically change the story around this drone, but that they quietly confirm almost every major theory surrounding DJI's next experimental aerial platform, giving us the first genuinely clear, real-world look at how this hybrid 360 drone is actually constructed and what it is truly designed to prioritize. Because unlike early concept renders or vague rumor-based diagrams, these live images reveal physical design choices that speak volumes about DJI's intent to merge stabilized 360 capture with controlled FPV-style flight without fully committing to aggressive freestyle behavior. And right away the frame design sets the tone with a compact Cinewhoop-inspired chassis finished in a muted gray, fully enclosed prop ducts, and a form factor that leans heavily toward indoor safe, cinematic flight rather than raw speed. But the real detail that stands out is DJI's decision to secure the propellers with screws instead of quick release or push on mounts, a choice that may seem minor at first glance yet becomes critical when you consider the sensitivity of 360 degree video stitching. Because even microscopic changes in prop alignment between flights can introduce inconsistencies, vibrations, or stitching artifacts that ruin immersive footage. And by locking the props into a fixed, repeatable position every single flight, DJI is clearly prioritizing long-term consistency and image reliability over quick field repairs or freestyle convenience, which is further reinforced by the duct design itself, as these ducts are not fully sealed but instead feature venting along the top edge, allowing heat to escape, reducing pressure buildup, and smoothing airflow inside the shroud which minimizes the kind of micro-turbulence that standard FPV pilots might never notice but a high-resolution 360 camera would immediately capture, and when you step back and connect these details, vented ducts, fixed props, enclosed frame geometry, it becomes obvious that this platform is engineered for smooth, predictable motion and repeatable cinematic paths rather than snappy throttle punches or high-G maneuvers, and that realization reframes how FPV fits into the Avata 360's identity. Because while FPV capability is clearly present, it feels more like an optional control method than the core reason this drone exists, suggesting DJI is positioning FPV as a tool for framing and navigation rather than adrenaline-driven flying, which aligns perfectly with the controller shown in the leaked images that appears nearly identical to DJI's recent RC lineup possibly a refined RC2-style controller with a built-in display showing a conventional live camera feed instead of a reframed 360 sphere or stitched panoramic preview, a detail that strongly supports earlier leaks claiming this drone will feature a true single-lens shooting mode, and that is where the camera system becomes the most fascinating part of the design, because rather than locking the two lenses into a fixed orientation like many existing 360 drones that force creators to commit entirely to spherical capture and figure out framing later in post, the Avata 360 appears to use a rotating camera module where two opposing lenses, one facing upward and one downward, can physically rotate approximately 90 degrees so that when the pilot wants standard footage, one lens swings forward and functions as a traditional primary camera, giving creators the ability to switch between immersive 360 capture and conventional video mid-flight, a mechanical solution that is far more complex than fixed lens systems but dramatically more flexible, and if implemented well, it could eliminate one of the biggest frustrations with current 360 drones by allowing creators to decide their shooting style in the air instead of being locked into post-production workflows, and while the images don't explicitly show software interfaces, stabilization modes, or resolution specs, the presence of this rotating camera mechanism alone suggests DJI is aiming for a new category entirely, one that blends FPV drones, Cinewhoops, and 360 cameras into a single stabilized aerial platform, and the supporting details continue to reinforce that idea when you notice a three-battery charging hub casually visible in one of the images, the kind of accessory that almost always appears in Fly More bundles, which lines up neatly with earlier pricing leaks and packaging rumors indicating that DJI plans to offer multiple kits from day one, potentially including a base kit, a Fly More combo, and possibly a creator-focused bundle aimed at immersive video production, and according to leaked regional pricing discussions, 
The drone is positioned surprisingly aggressively in its home market, especially by DJI standards, which suggests the company sees this as a volume product rather than a niche experiment. And even after accounting for international price differences and expected regional markups, the projected global pricing still places it within reach for serious content creators, FPV pilots looking for cinematic tools, and 360 enthusiasts who want aerial movement without the complexity of traditional rigs. And when you combine everything revealed so far, the refined frame design, the airflow-conscious ducts, the locked propellers, the rotating dual-lens camera system, the familiar DJI controller interface, and the bundled battery ecosystem, it becomes increasingly difficult to view this as an unfinished prototype or a speculative concept, because all signs point toward a finalized consumer product that has already passed the design decision phase and is simply waiting for an official announcement, making the Avata 360 feel less like a mystery drone and more like a carefully engineered response to the growing demand for stabilized immersive aerial footage, cinematic FPV alternatives, creator-friendly 360 workflows, and hybrid drone technology that reduces compromises instead of introducing new ones, and if DJI executes the software and flight tuning as cleanly as the hardware design suggests, this drone could quietly redefine how creators think about aerial 360 filming, FPV-assisted cinematography, and all-in-one content creation tools in 2026 and beyond.